Hey, my friends. Um, there are so many of you that I know and lots more that I can't wait to meet later this year. My name is Joan, and I work at a place called Beak, where I get to study all about plants and animals and things that happen in nature. And what I have been noticing lately in my yard and in these woods that are around my house is how busy the animals are right now. I'm wondering if you might be noticing the same things where you are. One of the things that I do know is that all animals need food and water to survive. I also know that winter, which it doesn't feel like winter today, but it'll be here soon enough, um, and in winter time, it can be really hard for animals to find the food that they need in order to survive. So, what a lot of animals are doing right now is scurrying about and gathering whatever food they can and storing it for winter. And when animals store food for winter, we call it caching. So, what I have for you today is some pictures and some videos of some of the activity that's happening right here around my house with some of the animals. Ones that I think you're gonna be pretty familiar with. One of them is the gray squirrel. Another is the chipmunk. And the third one I've been noticing a lot about is a mouse. There are lots of things about a squirrel and a chipmunk and a mouse that are the same. I notice that all three of them are small. They all have fur. Hmm, I notice that they all have tails. They all also happen to live in the forest and they all love nuts and seeds. Some things that I notice about a squirrel, a chipmunk and a mouse that are not the same are that they are different colors. Even though they're all small, they're not exactly the same size. And even though they all have tails, their tails aren't the same at all. A squirrel's tail is big and bushy, but a mouse's tail is long and thin. Something else that's different about a squirrel, a chipmunk, and a mouse is how they collect and cache their nuts and seeds for the winter. Let's watch them. Gray squirrels prefer being near a forest or trees that have nuts. They usually make a large leaf nest up in the branches of some of these trees. Chipmunks also love to be in or near a forest. Their nests are usually piles of rocks or under old stumps and trees that have decayed.
And yep, the mouse also likes to live in or near a forest. They like to keep their nest very clean. They usually make their nest in ground burrows or holes in trees, even in a wood pile or a hollow log. Did you notice that the gray squirrel digs a small hole and places just one nut in it? Then it carefully covers the hole. Squirrels have an amazing ability to find these buried nuts in the winter, even under the snow. Did you notice that the chipmunk stuffed their cheek pouches with acorns and seeds? Can you believe how much they can fit in there? Chipmunks carry their nuts and seeds into their underground rooms that are all connected by underground tunnels. There's a special room just for storing nuts and seeds. How cool is that? When they gather seeds and nuts in the fall, they bring them down into this storage room so that they're handy during the winter. Did you notice that it was kind of hard to see the mouse. Besides being the smallest of these three animals, it's also the most secretive. They mostly come out at night and they usually stay close to things like stone walls or piles of wood. They don't like to be noticed. And unlike the chipmunk, they do not bring their seeds into their winter nests. Each of these familiar animals will face the challenge of finding enough food this winter. And each is spending this fall getting ready for the winter. Can you remember how each of them prepares for the winter? What do they each like to eat? Maybe you noticed how they each move. Your teacher has some great ideas to share with you uh, about how you can learn more about the eating habits of the squirrel and the chipmunk and the mouse and some of their different behaviors. And I hope you have fun not only learning about them, but maybe seeing some um, outside in the woods or um, the schoolyard or the yard by your house. Um, have fun with it and I will see you later. Take care. Bye friends. website to learn more about what we do and consider making a donation.